Hi everyone! This is a final video about skin and its super ability to always show us what might be wrong inside our body. In this video, I would like to talk about such common skin conditions as hyperpigmentation and wrinkles. I'm not going to discuss what our beauty industry has to offer when it comes to solving these skin issues. Again, the logic lies in affecting the skin from the outside, but in fact, the majority of products or treatments offered are not just the waste of money, but also additional harm to the skin and the body. Appearance of both wrinkles and hyperpigmentation is directly linked to problems with liver, our largest organ responsible for the processes of detoxification and collagen production. When liver is overloaded with work and doesn't cope with its main functions, it puts skin, hair, all of the beauty issues to the end of its list and might even never get to solving them. In fact, everyday liver neutralizes the consequences of our poor choices, so we can support it with these easy steps. By making appropriate lifestyle changes, drinking more water, changing what we eat, moving more. I have talked about it in more detail in two previous videos about skin. You can unload your liver by practicing regular intermittent fasting, for example, and of course by adding various supplements to your diet. This is what I'm going to talk in more detail in this video. Before I start, I want you to understand that we are all different, therefore there is no one-fit-all recommendation. In this video, I will give universal suggestions that will help you in the process of healing and detoxing your body. But it is important to adjust everything you hear to your personal needs or consult with a specialist in case you have some serious health issues. So the first thing to do is to understand what state your body is in and what exactly it is lacking. To do this, you can take an extended blood test, which includes all the general parameters, plus insulin level, total protein, antibodies to thyroid gland, all of the basic parameters that doctors always check when there are some kind of problems and when they need to understand what state the body is in. In addition to those parameters that doctors most of the time check anyway, I would like to add a few more indicators that are very important and can say a lot about your health. Like vitamin D, for example, low level of which often leads to the weakening of the immune system and therefore activation of harmful organisms. The value of vitamin D should be at least 100 nanograms per milliliter or preferably 140. So if your figure is lower or much lower, you definitely need to start taking vitamin D3 supplements in combination with vitamin K2. You can take 5,000 to 15,000 international units daily on a regular basis. And we also should not forget or underestimate the effect of the sun. Regular sunbathing without the use of additional filters that not only block UVA and UVB rays, but also interfere with the vitamin D synthesis, which starts in our skin under the influence of sun rays. Another indicator by which it is possible to determine iron deficiency more efficiently than by hemoglobin value is ferritin. In general, value of ferritin is an individual figure and should be not less than the figure of your weight in kilos. Optimal amount of ferritin is calculated according to the formula your weight in kilos plus 70 milligrams per liter. So if the value of ferritin in your blood is lower than the figure of your weight, then most likely you have iron deficiency or anemia, which is often a result of poor nutrition, lack of animal proteins in the diet, lack of cofactors for iron absorption or parasitosis. 
So in addition to ferritin, you can also check the indicators for B group vitamins like B6, B9, B12, minerals and trace elements such as magnesium, copper, manganese, selenium, zinc. All of them contribute to iron absorption and their value ideally should be in the upper third of the laboratory norm. Lower values of these minerals could be a sign of anemia as well. Another element that is a cofactor to iron absorption and its value you can easily check at home is iodine. Draw a net of iodine on the back of your wrist and see how fast it disappears from your skin. If it disappears in several hours, then most likely you have iodine deficiency. If it stays on your skin for 24 hours or longer, then most likely you're all set with this element. It is also worth checking such parameter as eosinophils. If the value of eosinophils is more than two, then it might say about increased parasitic load and you might need to undergo a detox course of treatment, which I will tell you about in just a bit. And the last parameter you might check is the value of bilirubin, which will help you understand how your liver is doing. The normal indicator of total bilirubin ranges from 0.5 to 17 micromol per liter. With higher bilirubin value, you should seriously think about your liver condition and consult with a doctor. Of course, to read a blood test and draw competent conclusions, a basic understanding of the processes happening inside our body is needed. Of course, most of us don't have such knowledge, therefore help from a doctor or a qualified nutritionist with knowledge in biochemistry is definitely needed. What I can only add here is that healthcare workers are people like us who tend to make mistakes. Therefore, ideally, it is always better to consult with several specialists. As they say, never trust anyone's opinion blindly. And most importantly, no doctor is responsible for the end result and your health. Therefore, I, for example, being far from medicine, decided still to learn more about my body, what are the processes happening there and how it functions to be able to make conscious choices when it comes to my health. So for the past few years, I haven't followed anyone's advice blindly, even those of doctors, and most of the decisions regarding my health I took independently. And I can tell you, as a result, I feel and look much better than I used to look and feel before. So it's really important to take full responsibility for the condition that your body is in. Further, I will give you examples of supplements that I myself took when healing and detoxing my body. These supplements can be taken either for a shorter period of time or on a regular basis, and taking them doesn't require any prescription or allowance from the doctor or healthcare workers. So let's start from detoxing. Often harmful yeast like Candida form a protective film on the inside of our intestines, making it resilient to the majority of antibiotics. But such supplements as caprylic or undiselenic acid help break that film and this way speed up the process of cleaning from those harmful organisms. And to eliminate candida, there are a lot of complex supplements like Stop Candida, Candidase, Anti-Candida. I also want to know that these supplements work only in combination with a strict diet and you can take them for 30 days, then make a break for one month and then repeat for up to three times. For fighting candida, you can also use such natural remedies as berberine, black walnut, powdered arco, grapefruit seed extract, clove oil, oregano oil, plus all bitter herbs are a real nightmare for candida and some types of parasites. 
For stronger types of parasites, there are common oral medications that you can get in a pharmacy containing mebendazole drug, for example. All pharmaceuticals should be taken strictly according to the instructions provided in the package. From my personal experience, I can say that changing eating habits plus combining conventional pharmaceuticals with natural remedies is the most efficient way when it comes to achieving fast and lasting result when it comes to detoxing your body from harmful organisms. And of course, in the process of cleansing your body, you should definitely support your liver. There are herbal supplements like liver care, liver detox that help support our liver in its everyday processes of removing toxins from our body. Also, milk thistle, artichoke, and sunflower lecithin. All of these supplements can be taken on a regular basis, especially if you have problems with hyperpigmentation or visible wrinkles. And only after you detox your body, plus unload your liver a little, which can take from three to six months, only then does it make sense to start restoring the amount of vital nutrients and vitamins in your body. And again, you need to be guided by the results of your blood test, which will help you understand which exactly elements your body is lacking at the moment. And by the way, in the process of cleansing, which can take from three to six months, level of some vitamins and minerals can start to go up without additional supplements, simply because no one else will be using them besides your cells and your inner organs. So let's conclude the topic. And here are the most efficient ways which will help you keep your skin healthy and restore the quality of your hair hydration from within, meaning drinking enough water for your body weight and level of activity. I devoted separate video to the topic of hydration. Balanced nutrition and movement, this is what my second video is about. And supplements, of course. The supplements that I have mentioned in this video are just the basic set of supplements you can really take on a regular basis. But if you require more advanced supplements protocols, then they should be definitely put together with the help of doctor or specialist in nutrition, or both. And then every six months you should retake the blood test to see the effectiveness of the measures and steps taken, and if necessary make appropriate adjustments. I will also add that getting enough sleep is really important when it comes to restoring your body. At least six hours in complete darkness to help your body produce such vital hormone as melatonin, which is responsible for slowing down aging process and helping your body cope with stress. Of course, quitting smoking, reducing caffeine and alcohol intake will have a beneficial effect not only on the condition of your skin, but on the condition of your body as a whole. As for topical treatments for keeping skin youthful looking, restoring the quality of your hair or supporting hair growth, I will definitely make separate videos or posts in Instagram on that topic. That's it for now. Write me in the comments how you like the video, what are your ways for keeping skin youthful and healthy looking, or if you have any questions, I will be able to answer them in the comments below. Thank you for your attention and see you in the next videos.